God played a major role in this, and family played a major role in the things that I was involved with. Kept me going, playing chess, watch a lot of sports, and that was about it. I have two other brothers and three other sisters, which is one of my sisters was a twin of mine. They was there for me more than anything else. When they could find the time, they always came to see me throughout those 35 years that I've been incarcerated. I kind of see it like Joseph. That's what I use a lot throughout my speech, wherever I'm at. Joseph was a person who was placed incarcerated by his peers because they put him there for a reason. He didn't have no idea what was going on. But God had placed Joseph there under those situations for a length of time to show him and to put him through that to show him different. And those appears who put him there was at his feet when he was released. And he didn't have no bitterness for them. And he still accept whatever they did to him and continue to move on with his life. And that's really, really touched me when I first got out that God came into my life. Because believe it or not, my opinion, I would have never got out of there. I figured I was going to die there. So it must be a reason for me to be in this situation. So it made me feel in my mind for my first two hours being out of prison by being bombarded by the media and family. And that's when that thought really came to me. It was a purpose for me. Well, I came up here because of a gentleman who had met me at one of my meetings in Lakeland. He had to come to the program and listen to what I had to say. And he was very interested in what I was saying and what I was involved with. Because he also was involved with a bunch of kids. And he filled with my testimony that I could talk to the kids and try to uplift the kids in a lot of ways mm -hmm. to keep them involved in their schools activity. And it was a very nice experience for me to be able to travel mm -hmm. with him. It's kind of to me now like a job. I enjoy doing this. Because I got a chance this past Sunday to speak in Orlando. Because my uncle is a sheriff. And he had need to meet some friends of his as sheriff as well. They are part of the police force. And they invited me to go and speak to a radio station in Orlando. But I never dreamed I had the opportunity to go see someone else in my situation. Mm -hmm. That's one of my main issues for gentlemen in prison. Mm -hmm. Women as well, if I have the opportunity to go there. To let them know I haven't forgotten. But now that they have these innocent problems, you can write directly to them. Instead of using the chain gang lawyers, what we call them. Or the jailhouse lawyers, what society call them. It took them less than eight months. Eight months out of 35. But it was all for a reason. It was all on his time, not my time, or the state. It was his time. I enjoy going to movies, driving around a lot, visiting peoples. I have very little interest in any sports now. And watching a lot of cable TV. What surprised me the most was computers and sell your phones. Yes, I always seen them on TV and ads in the paper, but to use one after being released was an experience I always remember. I had it turned backwards, That's so I had to turn it around for to be able to speak through. Well, I actually do a lot of packaging, delivering uh, medical supplies, Anthony Scott has helped me throughout my release since I've been in society in a lot of ways that I didn't expect it to, but he has been there for me. I have to thank him a lot for what he has did up to this point. <laughs>